So for aqua tint, just a regular aqua tint, you have a bare plate and then you black out the areas that you don't want aqua tinted. So on this particular plate, I blacked out all the background information um, and I'm gonna aqua tint all these different little shapes, but I'm gonna aqua tint them at different times. So I'm gonna leave them all open now and then I'm gonna put the spray um, polish on there just like we did with the other process for sugar lift. Um, at this point, it's the same as sugar lift because now we have just the areas open this is just a backwards method of getting them open. Um, and then we'll put the, the, the spray on there and then we'll etch it. But let's say I wanna etch this shape for like only a couple minutes because I want it to be really light. This shape I want to be really dark. So, and then the other shapes are in between. So I would like even a couple minutes and then I'll take it out of the acid, rinse it off, dry it, and then I will black out that shape and then I'll put it back in the acid for a few more minutes and then I'll black out, let's say, this shape, because I only want this shape for six minutes, let's say. And then I would take it out of the acid at that point in time, rinse it, black out that shape, put it back in the acid, and go to you get all of your things etched the time you want. So this process goes a whole lot quicker than um, how we had it in for like an hour Yes. Or yeah, because this is a more shallow thing, but so it's like a piece of sandpaper mm -hmm. versus a line that has to be really deeply etched into your plate. Um, now if I want black, I would etch for 15 minutes and then I would do just a light dusting again of the floor polish um, and then put it back in for another 15 minutes. So you do a second time of spraying for that. Okay? So we're going to go spray in the box just like we did the last time. Spray up here. Let it fall down on my plate. Let me do it a couple times. But I don't look at it. I don't know how much I need to do. Give it a minute to settle. Wow, that works good. What was that? I just did three sprays. Now you don't want to overdo it. Hopefully I didn't. If we get too much on here, it won't work. So it might be smart to spray it before you put the, the black out. Because you can always take it off. Do you know what I mean? If I get too much on it now, I'd have to start all the way over. You can't wipe it because you'll wipe off the You'll wipe off the other stuff because it's wiped off in the sink. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do the spray first on a bare plate, that's fine. Um, let me see the loop. Where did it go? Is it back over there again? So it looked like I sprayed three times in the air, and I think that's pretty good. I don't really want to put it here because I don't want to get marks. I can't really see the dots like I did before. I can see 